We realize the Orange Line shutdown is a big concern for many of you, so I'm going to give you all the information you need to navigate this unprecedented event. Approximately 100,000 people utilize the Orange Line on a daily basis, but this shutdown will impact more than just T-Riders. This map from the MBTA, it may seem confusing, so I'm going to break it all down, laying out your options to get you where you need to go with as little disruption as possible. So the T strongly encourages Orange Line riders traveling into downtown to take the commute to rail if possible. That includes stops at Forest Hills, Ruggles, Back Bay, North Station, Malden Center and Oak Grove. Schedules have been updated to reflect a change in travel patterns. Orange Line riders are able to take the commuter rail free of charge. You just have to show a Charlie card. There are free shuttle buses between Oak Grove and Haymarket as well as Forest Hills and Back Bay. Plus an additional shuttle route will accommodate stops from Government Center to Chinatown to Tufts Medical Center. Trips on the ride that end within three quarters of a mile of the orange line will be free for ride users during the shutdown. Accessible vans are available by request. Service will increase on the MBTA's already established bus routes like the Silver Line 4 and 5 to increase frequency and rider capacity. Other options include the Route 39 bus from Forest Hills to Back Bay, the CT2 bus which runs between Sullivan Square and Ruggles, Route 92 and 93 which service Sullivan Square to Downtown Crossing, and the Route 43 bus between Ruggles and Park Street. Street. But hey, this is a good time to break out your bike if you can. And Boston plans to make blue bikes free. Don't forget, you'll need to bring your own helmet and make sure you plan your route ahead of time. Also keep in mind that the bikes may be in high demand. And let's not forget the Green Line is also part of the T's big fix. Green Line riders traveling between Government Center and Union Square will board free and accessible shuttle buses, which will make stops at Leachmere Station and the Leachmere Station bus loop. Right on our website and the WCVB app, you'll find a search by station feature. This helps you plan your route based on where you typically board the orange line. And there's also a link to the MBTA's trip planner tool. And if you choose to drive, expect delays, especially along the shuttle routes. Just plan ahead and hey, we're here to help. We've got you covered for the next 30 days and beyond. I'm Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.